I pulled up in Broome in 1982 and I got here on my thumb because my motorbike had broken down. <laughs> when something breaks, when you're working in the bush, somebody's got to fix it. You know? It turned out I was pretty good at fixing things, so I became the mechanic. Well, working on the cattle stations meant uh, sleeping in a swag. So you'd work hard all day. You'd come into the camp, have a feed, have a beer, lay back in your swag and, and check out the stars. And I'd never go to sleep until I'd seen a shooting star. And it probably took me at least a hundred times before I realised that everything had shifted. All of a sudden, I knew that I was watching the Earth turn. It was so powerful in my life that I guess I, I uh, wanted to share it with some people and I didn't know how interested people would be, but when I did start talking about it, people told me to, to keep talking. There's a lot of good reasons why Broome's such a good stargazing location, but having 300 clear nights a year is a big part of that, that's for sure. You know, Broome's full of amazing places. There's Cable Beach, which is just, you know, the most magnificent beach in the world. If you go to the other side of the peninsula, Roebuck Bay is a listed Ramsar wetlands. We have rich red cliffs and you look out over the turquoise water and I just love that uh, contrast between those colours. I mean, I've been here over 30 years now and those colours still just blow me away. One of the things I love to do with telescopes is to just have them set up as people are arriving and people will say to me, what are we going to see in here? So I can't tell you. You have to look for yourself. And then I just stand there and I watch. And you wait till they get it. And when they get it, you can see their whole aura light up. You know, that's my joy to see people go through that. <laughs>